These are my tools for making great PS2 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. This is a really quick proof of concept mini tutorial. I won't go to all the steps, but basically I'm going to showcase the Fortuna um, mod for your PS2 Slim. It covers all PS2 Slim models as well as the PS TV. Basically what it is, it allows you to run homebrew apps on your PS2 Slim, no mod chip required, and this works great for the 9000 series, which I don't have, but uh, it, it has been confirmed to work that way. And if you recall, the 9000 series does not work with free McBoot above a certain date code, so that's pretty cool. The only caveat is once you get the Fortuna files, you need a way to copy those files to a memory card. So you're going to need a modded PS2, or maybe you get the memory card that already has the files on it, or you have a... Um, I don't know, like a PS2 memory card to PC adapter, or whatever the case may be, you gotta figure that out. So here in my particular case, I'm using Free McBoot. I'll have a link in the video description that has a more in-depth tutorial from the PS2 Home website. But basically what I'm gonna do is go to my mass folder, which is my USB thumb drive, and there's a folder here called Fortuna. This is a zip file that you're gonna download from the PS2 Home website. And you download it, extract it, you copy that whole folder to your thumb drive. So I'm gonna say R1, copy on the Fortuna folder. And then go to your regular memory card. In my case, it's MC0. I already have it here, but I'm gonna go ahead and paste it and just overwrite everything. So that's the hardest part is figuring out how are you gonna get those Fortuna files onto your memory card. So be creative, guys. Once you got that figured out, then you're pretty much good to go. Get whatever homebrew programs you want, put it on your memory card or put it on your USB thumb drive, for example. So let me show you how does the Fortuna mod work. It's pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off my PS2, and then I'm gonna take out my FreeMed boot memory card. This is my regular memory card, not modded. Here's my USB thumb drive. It has you know my files, my game files, whatever. Let's turn this on and let's do this. Okay, so it's booting like regular. Adjust the light a little bit. So now we'll go to browser by pressing X, enter. Here we're gonna go and press X. We'll notice that all the icons disappear. You'll see this ball. It's ex acceptable if you have save game files already on your memory card, that's okay. So all you gotta do now is press circle to go back and then press circle again to go back. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna boot into the ulaunch elf. Cool, pretty cool, right? So now you go into File Browser, do whatever you want to do. Maybe you got ELF files on your memory card, go ahead and load those. So in my particular example, if I go to my USB thumb drive, I have my Open PS2 loader. So I launch that ELF file, and then you have games on your USB. Here I have it automatically detect my USB thumb drive. So I got one game here, so I'm going to press X here, load that game. Or if you want to do SMB, you can also do that too. Um, Fat PS2 is not supported yet, but um, when it is supported, you know, that'd be good for fat PS2 users, so that'd be cool. And this is an awesome solution, especially for PS2 Slim models, like the 9000 version, that cannot use free McBoot, now you can do this. The only hard part is, how do you get the files onto your memory card in the first place? Um, if you're interested, I could probably supply memory cards for a price that has the files on there, or you can go get your own adapter, or find a friend that has a model PS2, or maybe you have one already and you can copy the files over. So that's pretty cool. I think this is a pretty awesome. PS2 is over 10 years old and it's a great gaming machine. So here we, we can see that the game is working great and um, that is that. So let's go back from the start, just show you how quick this is from, from a regular user and show you it's not that bad. It's gonna take like 10 seconds to really get into your homebrew and have a lot of good times here. So you turn on your PS2, right? You go into the browser okay and then what you're going to do is go into your memory card and then i'm going to press circle real quick here like two times and then it's going to go into uh you launch elf here once it is in you launch elf then you can go ahead do what you need to do load your elf files and you're good to go if you're really clever you can set up some shortcuts in the you launch elf so then once you go inside you launch elf you can press your shortcut to launch a pacific elf file a homebrew program and you're good to go so that's today's Overall, proof of concept, mini tutorial. If you want me to go over this in more detail and a slower pace, possibly, 
let me know. I may consider it. But otherwise, for those PS2 enthusiasts out there that are looking for a new way to breathe some life into your PS2, the Fortuna mod, Fortuna project, whatever you want to call it, it's a pretty awesome solution. So that is today's video. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.